Hi, my name is Steve, and this is how to use Easy Movie Maker to edit your videos. Easy Movie Maker enables you to do simple video editing. Let's do a few things to get ready. Ready one, make at least one backup of all the videos you might need. Ready two, make a new folder on your desktop, call it something like EMM and then today's date. Make a subfolder for each group of videos you will use. Make one extra called test folder with short videos. Ready three, pick the videos you want to use and copy them into those subfolders. Copy is better than move. Copy any three short videos into that test folder with short videos and you should even have backups of these. Ready for create a restore point on your computer in case something goes wrong when you download Easy Movie Maker and you do use antivirus software, right? Ready five, download Easy Movie Maker from the Microsoft Store. Avoid using any other website. Ready six, Check your computer with a program like Malwarebytes Anti-Malware after you've done the download. Finally, reboot your computer in order to clear its brains. Test short before you go along. Does the program work on your computer with three short video test clips? Uh, you might want to check this before you remake Gone with the Wind. Are you satisfied with the picture and sound quality? A short test can prevent a lot of frustration. And now here's how. To trim a video on the main page, click on Video Trimming. That's the scissors icon. Then choose which video you wish to cut. Number two, in the trimming page, adjust the start and end times by moving the white buttons on either side of the blue line at the bottom. To cut, say, the first three seconds of a video, drag the left-hand white button to the right until you mark off three seconds. To cut the last few seconds, click on the right-hand white button and slide it to the left. Once you have trimmed your video, click Export Video to save it. And you will see this box. Choose the format you prefer. Set the resolution. The higher the resolution, the bigger the file will be in megabytes. I set my res resolution to HD 720p, which moves the bit rate to 5625K. Try other settings if you'd like. I set the frame to auto and the quality to precise. Give it a file name. As to the folder, click on the three little dots on the far right. That lets you browse, select the desktop, and the correct folder. To merge two or more videos, on the main page, click on Video Merging, then choose which videos you wish to combine. You will now be placed in the Clips area. To rearrange the clips, click on the up and down arrows at the bottom right hand of the screen. Then simply drag and drop to change the order. Click on the check mark to return to the clips area. Step 8. To change the transition between two clips, click on the little symbol between them. That will bring you here to this screen. I suggest that you choose fade to black and that you check the little box on the bottom left that says apply to all transitions. Now a note on this. There are apparently more transitions available. If at the main screen you click on new project, you can find your way to this screen which features many transition styles. Why here and not there? I don't know. Again, click on the check mark to return to the clips area. Click on the play button at the lower right to preview the merge. If you are satisfied, click on export video and follow the instructions in step EMM5 above. 
Uh, step 10, splitting a video clip. If you click on one of the video clips in the clips area, you get four options. You can copy the clip, remove the clip, trim the clip, or split the clip. If you click on the scissors icon, you can split a clip in two at any point. And step 11, after you have exported your videos, reboot your computer to clear its brains. This tutorial is part of a larger one I made called How to Make a DVD with videos, slideshows, and a menu using free software in Windows 10. Finally, if you have found this how-to useful, please check out my magnum opus, Mr. Lucky's Favorite Poker Games. It's available on Amazon.com and at booksellers like BarnesandNoble.com. That's the book. I even drew the cover, which shows Mr. Lucky playing poker with famous people like Babe Ruth and Sherlock Holmes, Winston Churchill and Morley the Morlock. What a story. And what great games like Yankee Baseball and Nostradamus and Share Your Hole. I can honestly say, without fear of infamy, that it is the best how to have fun playing poker book ever written, starring a teddy bear. Thanks and best wishes. Steve Marisic.